New hope this morning in the fight against drug resistant superbugs. Researchers trying to create stronger antibiotics may truly be hitting pay dirt. The breakthrough comes from common soil. Our Dr. David Agus is, Los An is in Los Angeles. David, good morning. You're excited about this. I was reading about this morning. It seems like it could be a real breakthrough. Oh, it's wild. You know, in December, a month ago, we were, four of us were talking about superbugs, how it had the potential to kill more people in 2050 than cancer. And then all of a sudden, we see this announcement here, and it really is special, is that a new, bacteria, a new antibiotic that will kill drug-resistant bacteria. What's cool is that it comes from soil. Almost all the antibiotics we have now come from soil. Bacteria make antibiotics to kill other bacteria. And in the 1960s, we got all of the bacteria we could grow from soil and identified the antibiotics we have today, and then it stopped. There weren't new uh, bacteria. But now this group figured out a new way to grow bacteria mm -hmm. and it identified a natural compound that kills these drug-resistant strains. What is it called and what will it treat, Dr. David? It's called tyxobactin. Tyxo is the Greek word for wall, and this hits the cell wall of bacteria. So it hits drug-resistant tuberculosis. It hits the staph aureus, all the gram-positive bacteria that are out there. So about half of the superbugs it will hit. Uh, how long will this take uh, to test with the FDA and come to market? Well, you know, it, it first has to be made into a solution that you can give intravenously, and that'll take about a year or two. And then the clinical trials can take anywhere from, again, one to three years. So in three to five years, we could have this. My hope is that we push real aggressively to have it sooner because we need it. All right. Dr. David Agus, really exciting news. Good to see you.